Atlanta's on a similar kind of run of form, but lately they've been able to, I think, 10 goals in four games. Um, definitely had injuries, but they seem to be getting it together. What do you see from them that makes their attack so, so dangerous? Yeah, like you said, they have some guys out, but they still have a lot of really good players in. So, um, you know, their front four, really front six are, you know, talented, technical, um, kind of clever, you know, the way that they interchange, you know, that three line um, behind the striker, very fluid, very flexible, creative. Um, they definitely want the ball. Um, they want to, you know, break you down with complex positional attacks. Um, very kind of methodical team with the ball. And, and uh, they can play b between the lines. They can spring in their outside backs if you get too narrow. Um, if you open up too much on the outside backs, they're very good at playing in between the lines and creating, ch creating chances with that. So it's a good team. Um, you know, they have, like I said, they have some guys out, but again, look at their roster and, you know, they're a very good roster. I believe they're a team who likes to high press at times. Mm -hmm. um, what, I mean, is this a good test, I guess, for your back line to, after the mistakes last week, to put that behind them and, you know, execute? Yeah, again, we look at every team, what they do, the goals we gave up had nothing to do with, you know, us doing the wrong thing. It's just a mistake from Darlington. We had no trouble on anything else. So we're going to always look at the opponent. We're going to come up with ways that we think we can move up the field. Um, we know how they press. Um, we know they like to press. Most teams are playing press. Um, so we'll have a good plan on how we're going to deal with that. What's Lucas's status for, for this game? Did he practice today? Lucas is questionable for the game. Okay. Did he train today? Uh, he did not train today. Okay. Um, last thing for me is kind of going back to what we were talking about the other day about having a, someone in the midfield trio or talking about Darlington being more into the attack. Artur was saying he would like to be more in the attack. Was that something you just kind of leave up to them depending on the situation or, or is that something maybe you depending on, I guess, the game plan, do you try to get them more into the attack or, or hang back? I don't leave it up to them, you know, just to do whatever they want to do. Um, but I give them certainly the structures and the ideas of what we want. Our tour, you know, is a guy that, you know, 4 3, three we've played at the six. So obviously at the six, he's not going to get right. forward quite as much. Um, in a double pivot, there's freedom for Darlington and him to both get in the attack. Um, we want that, we encourage that, they know that. Um, and I think, uh, you know, he's done that. He's gotten a new attack some. But in a four through three, playing the six, he hasn't. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if that answers your question. Yeah, it does. Yeah. More difficult for those guys to get forward in a four through three because you just have the kind of one guy being James or Aiden, right, getting forward. I think it's easier for him to get forward in four through three if they're playing the eights. Yeah. You know, and in a four two three one, they have as much freedom to get forward, and you know, already gets forward a lot in a four two three one. I just think also um, it's that balance, right? So, um, you know, Darlington's good going forward. If he's forward, then obviously already has to sit a little yeah. more. But yeah. that's that's normal. Those two guys have played four two three one together in a double pit for double uh, pivot for three years now. Mm -hmm. And um, we encourage both of them with balance to get forward with one holding and the other forward and then vice versa. So they both have freedom to get forward. And, and um, you know, I think probably what you're alluding to are the games when he's played the six in a 4-3-3. Three, three. Well, he, he was just saying uh, he thinks he can get forward more. So I was wondering if, if that was. All right, good. I'll, I'll, I'll put that on the plan now. <laughs> you guys. For, unfortunately have, have gone without Lucas multiple games this year. He obviously attracts a lot of attention, but when he's not out there, things change. I'm not saying one way or the other what he does, but if he's not able to go against a team like Atlanta, how does that change things in terms of how you attack? You mentioned the other day, he's one of those guys that can change a game for you. Yeah, I think again, he's questionable, so right. won't rule him out yet, but um... Obviously, if he's in, we know we can do some different things. Um, he's a key guy, as we know. He's a good final third player. And um, if he's out, you know, we'll come up with a good plan to win the game. 
historically between you and Atlanta, it's been pretty tactical battles. Do you, I know you always enjoy kind of tinkering and what, we talked about that a lot this year, but when you play a team like this that has those players interchange along the top and, and things like that, does that make it even more tactical in your mind in terms of what you're doing? Is that part of the fun of being a coach? Yeah, that's for sure. One of the things I like, I mean, every game for me and every week for me, right. there's changes in everything we do. And we, we look at the opponent, we look at our team, and we feel like this week we, we had a really good week and we came up with a good plan. Um, you know, we've looked at Atlanta thoroughly, thoroughly, like we do every team we play. Um, every team we play is a little different and you got to do different things. So I think you've seen that in every game we played. So I feel like we've got a good plan, just like we had last game. Um, we know where they can hurt us if we're not careful. We know where we can hurt them. Um, those are things we've trained. Those are things we've shown on film. Um, and I would say the last two days have been really good. Um, our, our training sessions the last two days have been extremely sharp. Um, and so if we can take that into the game, it's going to be a good game. And we're playing a very good team. But, you know, I like our chances. And like you said, we've had some good results there in that stadium. And if we get three points, we're right back there in the mix, you know, hovering around the, the playoff line. And funny enough, after a 13 game stretch, uh, we're not far off. You know, we knew this first 13 games was going to be tough with seven road games. And I think we played six of the top nine teams in the yeah. league. Um, so if we can get this win, I mean, it puts us on 1.33 points per game, which is slightly off where we want to be. Um, so it's important that we get the three points. Last year, you guys went to Atlanta and got three points in their home stadium, which can be a difficult place to play. There's a lot of talk about confidence and how you can latch onto something. Do you guys lean on that game at all when you're talking to the team and being um, able to go into a difficult environment and, and be successful? Yeah, it's kind of funny sometimes when you, you keep getting results at the same place. I think there is some psychology in that for sure. Um, you know, that's not the main thing that we're talking about, yeah. you know, because some different guys that were playing in those games. But, you know, it's one of those where, you know, in the stretch or the, the weight room, you, you, you might, you know, grab Darlington and say, yeah, I remember, you know, we won there quite a bit. It's more of a conversation than anything. And they're aware of it, you know, that, so I think you don't have to say much. You know, the guys that were in those games in those stadiums automatically remember um, those games. Um, but I, I think there is some psychology in winning in certain places, and I think we have been able to go in there and get results. So um, it doesn't hurt, you know. Whereas if you've never gotten a result in a stadium, you know, the guys kind of know that. They don't have a feeling or a, any muscle memory of having a result in, in a stadium. Yeah. So we at least have some memories of getting results there. How much does that play in, you know, it's, okay. You know, it doesn't hurt. Right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Caleb. All right.